Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Samuel here with us who has been recently placed at Z Entertainment as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. Also, this was a super dream job in VIT and yeah, let's look at the eligibility criteria now. So students from all BTEC branches were eligible provided they had a CGPA of 70.5 or 75% in their 10th, 12th as well as the pursuing degree and also they had no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Samuel. So hi Samuel, uh, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Thank you, thank you so much. Sorry. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Uh, my name is Samil Haq. I am from Kolkata, West Bengal. I am currently pursuing my fourth year of electronics and communication degree from Bellur Institute of Technology, Chennai. Okay. And I recently got an offer from C Enterprises Private Limited. Okay. Okay. That's great. Uh, you can now tell us about the interview process, how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Uh, the process was pretty simple. Uh, first, uh, the, we had to apply on the CDC portal. Okay. Uh, and then uh, there was one technical round, one first online test happened, uh, which was uh, had on a hacker bank platform. Okay. okay. And th then we had uh, what, one technical interview, okay. one uh, ha HR manager interview, okay. and then we were finally shortlisted for the best offer. Okay. So could you tell us in detail about each of the rounds? Uh, on the exam comprised of uh, two coding questions, two medium level lead code questions, okay. uh, one one SQL question, okay. the SQL question was a bit on a lower side, okay. so count max, you can easily solve it, okay. and there were 10 MCQ problems that comprises of uh, aptitude, quantitative and pseudo code. Hmm. Uh, after, um, I, I ran both the codes and the SQL also, hmm. so um, out of out of 1800 people, 217 people got shortlisted for writing the exam okay. based on resume and CGPA. Hmm. I currently have a CGPA of 8.85. Okay. Uh, so we got 217 people got shortlisted and uh, they gave the exam and after the exam within 3 or 4 days, 90, 20 people got shortlisted for associate software developer role hmm. and 10 people got shortlisted for a cyber security analyst role. Okay. Both the both the exams were taken on a different platform. Okay. So I was I I applied for associate software developer role. So my exam was based on coding. Okay. So uh, after that, uh, in technical interview round on Code Academy, we had to write two codes. The interviewer first asked me about my background and told me to introduce myself. Hmm. So I introduced myself. After that, he asked me questions based on my resume. Okay. Then he. He wanted to know which languages do I know, hmm. so I told him that I am most frequent with Java. Okay. So he told me to write two codes based on Java. Then he went deep into hoops and all polymorphism, hmm. method overloading. Hmm. And in Code Academy, he told me to write code about method overloading. Hmm. And tried and told me to explain the difference between super and this keyword. Hmm. Uh, after after all this, he was like very satisfied. He was like uh, I can feel that he was very happy. Hmm. So he told me that uh, do you have any questions about this? Uh, so I told him no. I currently don't have any questions. Hmm. Uh, then uh, he told me that okay. Finally. Then after that, in next round, uh, I within uh, three hours, I, uh, seven people got shortlisted for the HR round. Okay. Uh, in HR round, uh, the interviewer was pretty nice. She comforted me first and then uh, told me to ask my background and she directly jumped into a, one of my projects. Hmm. Uh, one of the projects that I did was credit card fraud detection system. So she asked me how can we use this credit card fraud detection system in into Z? How okay. can we apply it? So I told her that we should apply it on the gateway so that uh, in the gateway it, it can make it secure. So she asked me if you want to make it more secure, what method should we use? Hmm. So I told her that we should shift to cloud as the data, as the, our we can we can pay to use go pricing. We can use it. Hmm. So she was satisfied with that. Then she she typed me. It was a Google Meet uh, interview. So she typed in the chat box for for question, aptitude questions one by one, uh, and the aptitude questions were very easy. For example, like. Uh, uh, what's the difference? What's the importance of books? They, she gave me four options: knowledge, pages, pictures, life. Okay. So I told pages like this type of questions. Hmm. Then she asked me, and last uh, key, what's happening in C? 
she told me. Ask me. I, I prepared all the CEO name and everything, but this question came out of nowhere. So I thought out about it a little bit as I'm good in current affairs. So I was able to answer that Zuri so is merging with Sony. Hmm. And this information, I think, helped me to crack the interview. Right. Um, within uh, two, three hours, uh, she told that uh, we have got shortlisted. Hmm. So total, she select. They selected total seven people, six people from associate software developer engineering role, and one from cyber security analyst. Okay. So this process whole process on September twenty third, the company came, until October twentieth, all the process finished. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your experience, and it was great. Um, would you like to? Do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into Super Dream companies? Uh, yeah, my, as my CGPA was less than nine, so it, in starting it was very difficult for me to get into the companies as we were getting shortlisted, but uh, we were not able to solve all the boards and all. Hmm. So it was very difficult uh, to face the interview also. But uh, it, the main thing is you should be patient and all, hmm. and you should more focus more on DSA part because that contains a majority part after giving many exam you will slowly understand that they are also asking sql hmm. so a basic understanding and sql by watching youtube videos you can develop hmm. i used to follow uh, i watched a 4 hours long youtube video for sql to understand the basics of it and practice question about in lead code hmm. we can click on lead code and practice on every day and uh, coming to the coding part uh, the coding part you should uh, revise topic wise because they fo- focus on more a prominent algorithm like cadence algorithm they mostly ask hmm. like those are already established right and uh, and uh, coming and other than that uh, your friends and family can support you because there will be a mental toll for you that you are not getting placed and your friends are getting placed you should not be impatient about it and jump into a very jump into an offer that you won't like to right. join right so you should be patient enough so that you can give till uh, after in october month also i may get a uh, 14 lakh companies coming and picking up students so that's great for it. as an ec student i'm very grateful right okay okay that's great congratulations again and thank you for sharing your experience yeah, yeah thank you it's nice sharing this So if you found this video helpful please do like share and subscribe to my channel that would really motivate me to bring in more people and more companies also if you have any specific requests about any company or anything in general please do let me know in the comment section below thank you for watching